Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the compressor start device in an LG refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips and a flat blade screwdrivers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new compressor start device. This compressor start device is mounted on the side of the compressor at the back of the refrigerator inside the machine compartment on the left. The start device is mounted on the compressor's three terminals. It assists in starting the compressor, disconnecting the power to the start winding right after the compressor starts. It also has a limit thermostat that protects the compressor from overheating. If the temperature in both compartments goes too high and you can't hear the compressor turning, check the start device and replace it if needed. Here we are folks at the back of the fridge and to get to the part we need to remove this access panel. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. We have uh, four Phillips screws and I'm going to start taking them out. And now I'm going to lift it up. Now I'm going to use the uh, Phillips screwdriver and I'm going to take out this uh, screw at the bottom of the chassis. We're going to release that uh, green ground wire. Next I'm going to take out this uh, Phillips screw. Next, I'm going to disconnect this plug. Uh, the tab is right there on the side. Push it in and pull the plug down. Now I'm going to use this uh, flat blade screwdriver and I'm going to pry this cover of the compressor. Okay, now we can remove it. And uh, we've got here the relay that uh, needs to be also pried off. And I'm using the same flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to insert it right there and pry this off. Be careful, do not damage the compressor terminals. This is the Phillips screw that uh, holds this ground wire to the compressor. And we need to take it out. This is the old compressor start device next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Okay, so we have here a new compressor start device. This is our relay and uh, has three openings that will go over the compressor terminals exactly just like that the single opening at the bottom it's kind of a blind flight we can't see the terminals but it's easy press it on and next I'm going to install the ground wire onto the compressor. Using a Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to attach it. All right. And now I'm going to place that uh, cover on. Put the harness into cutouts at the bottom. Press the top on. And now we're going to secure it with the screw through this opening. And I'm going to fill up screwdriver. Place it in and tighten it. Okay, one more thing with the uh, Phillips screwdriver. Don't put away that uh, Phillips screwdriver of yours. 
yet one more green wire and now we're gonna plug this in now we're gonna install this uh, access panel all right so we've got the uh, couple of pins here that will be locked into these openings here at the bottom of the access panel we're gonna start with placing them on All right, so, and next step would be installing the screws. I'm going to use the uh, Phillips screwdriver. We're gonna start with one in the middle here. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.